my hair look like. Girl, we die in the Ross today. Oh. I mean. It's giving realistic. Julia Hair is one of the first companies I ever shared when I started doing my hair videos. It takes me back to my first hair videos I ever did. <laughs> Today's wig comes from Julia Hair. This is their kinky curly texture. As you can see, it comes pre-bleached and pre-plucked and the lace is already pre-cut. This is what the cap construction looks like in the wig. Look at those curls, just beautiful. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and pop this on right quick. Straight out the box, this is what the style look like. What do you all think about this style straight out the box? The curls are soft. I don't wanna run my fingers through them too much right now because I don't wanna frizz it out. I just kinda of want you all to see what the definition of the curl pattern look like, which is really pretty. The lace is blending very well. Knots are super small. They did pre-bleach them. So this is a seven by five closure. You can part it. We're gonna part it and everything. I'm gonna show you how you can wear this style because it does come with the middle part straight out the box. However, you can switch it up. Now the cap fits, I wish it came down just a little bit more because the closure do stop right here. And you leave your natural edges out right there, especially if you have a lower hairline. Cap in the ear area fits really well, so it's not covering the ear at all. Go ahead and just push back the hairline. We're going to go completely glueless today. We're not going to add any glue, hairspray, or anything to this wig. Let's test out the brush. Anytime I'm wearing curly hair, I always use my unbrush. Brush out the hair while it's dry. And then show you how it looks in its afro state. I'm going through the hair pretty good. Now, of course, you don't want to go through it with a comb. You see what's going to happen? Don't do that. You always want to get all the kinks out and fluff it out before you do any defining. The unbrush glides through the hair very well. You don't need to use any other brush except for this one. Now this hair definitely has a lot of texture to it. Right now, I'm not getting that much shedding. This is how much shedding I'm getting just by brushing through it, which is a great, great deal when it comes to the curly hair. Straight out the box already. I want you guys to drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about today's style. Is it worth it? Is it wasted? Like, cause I'm, mm, this is luscious to me. But yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. It helps the companies know what you all want and help bring better styles for you all. Drop me some comments and let me know. If you're looking for color, definitely check out my previous video. Um, that wig that I did has beautiful color. I'm pretty sure they have one on their website that is in a color if you want. Just check the links below. I will also put a discount code. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. This is out there, right? It's pretty actually. The lace is blending pretty well, but the front knots to me are still a little bit visible. So I'm just gonna take some of my bronzer and kind of go over the knots right at the hairline <laughs> I like this a lot um, but I know a lot of people like their hair to be more tamed however if you are wanting a protective style this is really pretty sexy messy look I don't know I like it but we're gonna take some water and also some hair mousse this is the olive oil one <laughs> and show you how you can tame it back to a frizz free look now because of the texture it is best to work this in sections and honestly once you define the curls once you don't have to go back and do it throughout the week you don't have to do this every single day just use the water leave-in conditioner some hair mousse and you are good to go for the week some hair mousse that dripper on down just get about that much hair mousse saturate the hair might put too much oh god y'all don't use as much Okay, I'm taking this much this time. I'll go through the hair. This is a really thick hair mousse. It's great for this texture. Yeah, I think I got too heavy handed. A few moments later. <laughs> you know what? Actually, using too much works. <laughs> it works, especially if you haven't washed the hair yet. It helps to kind of break up the curl pattern and get the hair nice and moist. while I have it wet I'm gonna go ahead and part it some so I'll just take the end of a comb so if you wanted to do a side part you can you can just flip it on over like so and do a side part you can go all the way over here 
and do a side part of course and of course you can part it all the way back here but I'm going to keep my middle part but you can also push the hair back and just do the flip over method where you have no part if you don't like parting at all but you want to of course do it before the curls dry mm -hmm. that wet look I'm going to take this brush and we're going to really smooth the hair and define the curls back. This brush I will have linked in the description box is really good for curly hair if you are looking to get a really defined look. Just make sure before you use this brush you detangle the hair. Still glueless, there is no glue here. The hair mousse is not giving any hold. Just kind of pushing back the hairline a bit, laying the top part down. I'm going to scrunch the curls upwards. This is what the curls are looking like when they are wet. Really pretty. You know what? That was quite simple. Because a lot of times when I deal with kinky curly textures, I'm spraying it forever. But I think I just put you all onto something. Even though I overuse this hair mousse, it made a huge difference. The hair dried faster than normal than just wetting it down. And on top of that, the curls are like super defined and still soft. So once you do this, it'll get you through a week, maybe two weeks, depending if you're taking your wig on and off. But I'm impressed so far. I like it. So, all right. So let's go over the details right quick for this wig. So mine says that it's a 20 inch. Um... Maybe it is. I know, right? I wasn't expecting that, right? Because I was like, this, it, this ain't no 20 inch hair. But hold on. Look. Look. Look how look how far down that stretch. And I did cut a little bit off because the, it was a little uneven for me. So, this is a 20 inch shrunken. We all know curly hair shrinks. For the most part, it seems to be what it, what it needs to be. Okay? I don't want to mess with it too much. Just, I do have a 20% off coupon for you all. Please be sure to check below. If you want to save 20%. So. Oh, I didn't know this. Okay, so you can get this wig with the kinky edges if you want edges on it and a 7x5, or you can get it without any baby hair, but you can also get it in a 13x4. So if you don't like the 7x5, they have the pre everything in a 13x4 with this. It goes all the way up to 20 inch, so you get the choice between 14, 16, 18, and 20. I have the 20 inch, and that is going to retail for. With the 7x5 closure, it is on sale. $190 for the 20 inch for the 7x5. If you want the 13x4, then it will be $236. And that is on their sale going on right now. And of course, you can use that 20% off discount. I am really liking this hair. Like Julia's hair was, was one of the first companies I ever dealt with when I started doing my hair videos. So, so I will have this wig linked below in the description box. Be sure to check down there. And I will see you all back in my next video.